Hey guys, Dralian Croft here for an entry into Victor Jacobson's contest. So I'm entering my vehicle related thing uh, as part of a scene, as you can see. And this is um, based on the Battle of Brickor, Brickor Manor. Um, so basically, the, cha the Germans were like entrenched um, uh, around the manor. And they had like flak 88 positions everywhere, and they were just harassing the allies. I don't actually know exactly what it was, but um, there's a good Band of Brothers episode on it. So I'm going to start with the custom figs. So there's the American, the German, and then the Fallschirm Fall Fallschirm Jager, Fallschirm Jäger. I yeah, the German paratrooper. And so uh, I'll start with his gun actually. So this is, um, you might have seen this a couple of times before, oops, uh, this is my custom FG42, so it has a painted foregrip, painted stock, different coloured magazine, it has the foresight there, yep, it's got the cartridge ejection port, uh, this one obviously doesn't have a scope, because I don't really, you know, they didn't always have scopes. They were often just iron sights. So he has uh, a rebel trooper body on backwards. He has sand green legs, dark grey waist, sand green arms, flesh hands, rebel trooper face, uh, customized... This is actually a cap, which has the broom cut off. And then just the backpack to... Uh, one of the reasons is to cover up the horrible back printing. Well, the front printing, but is now on the back, and it looks ugly. So, <clears throat> there's my first troop figure. Um, second one is my custom German. He just has the car 98K. This is my standard infantry. Uh, Gunmetal helmet. Uh, that rebel face, which looks suspiciously like Indiana Jones. Custom decal. Uh, light grey arms, black hands, black waist, lots of light grey legs. There's a back decal. So yeah, there's three of these guys in the mock. Oh, there's no back head printing or anything. Um, let me put him back. And then... Like, all these guys have different faces, though, because uh, I, I think you're allowed to do that in the contest. That, and I couldn't give them all the same face if I wanted to, because I don't have enough. Uh, and, you know, you don't really get a lot of people with the same face in the world. So, here's my standard American infantry. M1 Grand, uh, Olive Drab Green Steel Pot Helm, Rebel Face again. So like the Fulch uh, custom decal on the front has pockets and straps and buttons and things. Dark tan legs, tan body and arms, flesh hands, and then backs, back printing, back decal, sorry. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to show the mock and then I'm going to go into the, uh, the vehicle thing in more detail. So, <clears throat> down here we have an American who's just been shot down by this guy. He was holding a grenade and that one is live. He was about to throw that and while he was pausing to throw it, he was shot down. Um, they have a 30 cal gunner running up. Um, there is a monopod on there so we can actually hold it properly. We got a rifleman taking aim at this guy. Uh, we got a fallen American trooper. Uh, his arm needs to move. But yeah. Nicely posed. Uh, just some greenery, foliage, and stuff. Uh, we got this guy running in with rifleman, 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 machine gunner, shotgunner. So that guy's just. Um, wait, wrong person. This guy. Trench gun. Aragorn's face. I think you can kind of see that. And he's aiming at that guy there. 
This is some weird camera angles. <laughs> uh, there's a little bit of terrain going on over here. Actually, it's sunken. So all of this is layers. Brown, and then just green on top. There's lo lots of little multicolored supports underneath this. Yeah. You can sort of see. Um, yep. So, in the Germans, we got some sandbags around an MG42, which is sitting there. Which they should probably get on if they have any chance of repelling the enemy attack. Have this uh, rifleman, who's just gunned down this guy here. We have that guy, who's just gunned down him. And then we have a German reloading behind a leg on the flak. So, I'm going to show you the flak now, but before I do, just where it is. It's in the dugout position. Uh, there's some crates, and this crate has a howitzer shell, and you'll see why in a second. Uh, if you've seen my Brick Arms unboxing video, then you'll probably know what's going to happen with that later on. So, I'm going to cut to the review of the Flak 88 now. So here it is, my pride and joy. Um, my Flak 88, and this is my second version of it. And I like this version a lot more than my first version, which I made a like a 20 minute how-to video on. That was a terrible video. Yeah, I don't think anyone watched it. Anyway, um, yeah, so, um, I was gonna say something else. Oh yeah, um, I don't know if many people are gonna enter artillery, and I know that if I do, then I'm probably not going to win. So by entering this, in a way, I've kind of forfeited, forfeited, however you say that, I've kind of forfeited my chances of winning or placing at all in this contest, but I don't really care because it's a really nice piece of artillery. And um, I guess I just want to show people, I guess, what I can sort of do. I guess? Not so much to win the... Whatever, whatever that. <laughs> that was horrible. Um, yeah, so every leg is the same. Attached like that. These can actually, like, they can sort of fold up like that and then add wheels or whatever and tow it away. Um, I actually found out that I could do that on accident. Um,. There's a robot hand on the end, and some binoculars for details. Like, they, they do actually have this sort of detail on the end of the legs. And then, uh, yeah. Just those. Some tiling on the sides, because they are quite thick legs. Studs on top, so you can position many figures on there, you know. Fiddling with the wheels. There is a gear wheel here, which is attached, strangely. Oh yeah, and I don't think I made it clear that this is a Flak 88 German artillery piece. Um, I think I might have sort of briefly said that. For those of you who haven't already guessed. So that's one of the gear wheels. Then there's this one, which is on an angle here. Which is how they said it. There's like a gear down here to suggest some sort of mechanism going on down there. So I guess that one, as you turn it, the gun can move, so it's a really nice sort of uh, mock and stop motion feature. Particularly a stop motion feature. This is definitely uh, a mock or a stop motion model, it's not a play model. It's a little too flimsy. Uh, yeah, but obviously 360 degree rotation can go... can aim up that high. I'm just gonna put it flat so you can see that angle. Yep. It's fairly high, and then on the opposite end of the spectrum, it can go down very low for shooting down hills and cliffs and such. Um, and then on both sides, there's these um, plates here for a little bit of detail just to break up that sort of plain area. They do actually have something similar to that on the real flak. So, uh, the barrels. We're all realistic and things like that. Um, then in the back has an opening breach, and this is where the howitzer shell comes in from Brick Arms. You can put that right in there, close the breach, 
And there's a how to shell in there. You can open it up and take it back out again. For if you were doing a stop motion, you'd put it in, close it, do the scene where it's firing, then off camera you'd take it out, take the head off, just put the casing back in, and then in the movie it'd look like an empty casing had come out, and this thing had been fired off to destroy something. So, that's a, a nice feature for a stop motion, because I, I don't know if I'm going to use this in a stop motion, I don't really make stop motions. I mean, I have, but I don't upload them. So, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's the the stripes on the barrel. Sort of iconic of the Flak 88. Uh, binoculars down there for some extra detail. And such. So yeah, it's quite a nice artillery piece. Definitely uh, my better attempt at making one of these flaks. So, um, yeah. I, I guess I don't really have a chance in the competition, but, um, yeah, I, I really like the model. Um, yeah, obviously it'd be awesome to place. Um, guys, go check out Victor Jacobson's contest. This is a really late entry, though, so I don't know if you'll have time to enter. But, um, go and check out some of the other entries, because some of them are pretty epic. Um, and yeah, subscribe to Victor Jacobson. He's an awesome guy, he does some awesome creations. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about all I wanted to say. So, um, hope you guys had a Merry Christmas, looking forward to the new year. And, uh, yeah, this was my entry to Victor Jacobson's contest. Thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and goodbye.